My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting Ever, oh, ever. Girl, me Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub right now. So, a lot of us are still in shock that the under the bronze Bomba Wilder signed a deal with at the end of Matro Boxing. It was my opinion very unexpected the first time i heard water jangeli i thought it would be a separate basically a separate uh, show without eddie Hearn being involved but not only is eddie Hearn involved not only is he not involved he he made the underwater the captain of matroom against Quisberry. And they signed a one fight deal. The Underwater fans are not happy. Um, usually the LDVC fans they always they make videos and stuff and talk about stuff like that. And but a lot of them have not reacted so far. Only the the honchos, the honchos, um, among them have reacted. But they don't seem to be very happy. Um, if you're gonna ride with someone to the ways for love, I think you will, you should be able to understand the real like business, the basic business, you know, um, method. You know, I think water allowed water was too lawyer to people that didn't really mean much, didn't really have his good. Uh, I mean, maybe they have his good thought as I but they saw him as as an object, a fighting object, and that's it. They didn't see him. They didn't see him for the for the person he is. You know, it's just one of those things you learn as you grow. Uh let's go around here. Adewale, the biggest fan of the Ontario Water, to react to this. You know, you hate the Eddie Eddie Hearn fats. Adewale, what was your reaction the first time you heard the news that water CLD with uh, Eddie Hearn and Boxing? Yeah, so I don't hate Eddie Hearn. No, I don't. I disliked Eddie Hearn for so long, but all that stopped after we had our Wilder Fury trilogy. I let it go because Eddie Hearn stopped doing what he was doing that made me dislike him in the first place and that was his arrogance eddie came in very arrogant talking down on the other wilder like the guy hadn't achieved anything like the guy needed to build up his commercial value any single thing anything the other wilder said eddie hand trashed you know oh that guy from alabama how would a guy from alabama offer me money and i'm supposed to take it seriously you know the guy was very condescending towards the under wilder making it look like the only path for wilder to make big money in the heavyweight division was through joshua and for that reason he was acting too arrogant the fight ended up not happening and wilder fought fury three times which boosted his reputation and his financial status and his legacy in general in the heavyweight division and at the same time, Joshua too had his ups and downs in his career. And right now, they meet again in the future as partners. That's why Wilder can sign a one-fight deal. So this time around, that Wilder is hooking up with Eddie Hearn. He's hooking up as a boss. He's his own boss. Eddie Hearn is a boss in his own side. Wilder is a boss in his own side. They collide and they get it done. Um, ultimately, the finances is coming from Saudi Arabia and Eddie Hearn is the funnel and it just so happens that you know all the dogs are lined up in a row at the same time so this to me congratulations to Wilder for making this decision it's a good move in my opinion um, um a lot of people have criticisms for him because of the past relationship with Eddie Hearn man it is what it is man sometimes you can you can set up and a, a strategic partnership with your enemies for example the united states 
and China, they are not friends when it comes to social, political, geopolitics in the world, but they are their largest trading partners, both countries. You see? You see how sneaky that is? These guys can literally fight a war against each other and kill people, but they are still their largest trading partners. So what that tells me is sometimes you have to set up a strategic partnership even with your enemies, but you can only benefit if you come in as a boss. If you come in with your own resources and your own backing and you're solid on your own side, you're not going in begging and being desperate, then you can make it work. And that's one thing that we can learn in Africa as well. A lot of these are our African countries. We need to stop the leadership. They can learn from some of these strategic relationships, but it is what it is. That's another topic for another day. Good move by Wilder. Congratulations on getting the fight. I hope he wins against Zhang. That fight is 50-50. Um, difficult fight for both guys. More difficult for Wilder, if you ask me. In fact, I think that fight is 55-45 in favor of Zhang Zhile. Because Zhang is big. Um, um, Zhang is actually big and he can punch. That leaves... <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's 50-50. I take that back. Wilder Zhang, in my opinion, is a 50-50 fight. Both guys have a lot to lose if they lose. So they are both going for they're going to put in their put their best foot forward. I mean the best man win. That's what I have to say. Time but I appreciate take on the Star Jagway. Uh your take on uh, Wilder signing a deal with um Eddie Hearn. I didn't think I never saw this coming, bro. If you, if I could have made a bet with you or anyone else regarding this, you know, move right here, say, listen, water wouldn't do it. Water literally called it here in a slave master at some point, bro. That's, bro, you know how not that is, bro. And his fans, a lot of his fans are not happy, bro. But they have to respect it. Sometimes you just grew, you just grew up to understand that business is business. You don't have to like somebody to like to get business done or else you will start losing money water is already rich differently but still one more bro Ty. yeah yeah <laughs> you know i'm you, i'm glad you pointed that out you know business is business strictly business nothing more the what i believe Hell, while the back and making money is the uh, the time of oh let's let me do it for the culture you know the culture this the culture that the whole Raheem Radio Raheem thing I I, I believe while there is a is a I, you know I, at first I didn't quite understand who Wilder is right and I didn't um I didn't really take much to his liking but watching him develop and watching who he is just really really just taking it back and not listening to what others say i believe wilder is a man of his word especially when it comes to people of of people who don't have much and it just i think he's genuinely a nice guy man I'm just saying, like as a as as a as a pure heart of gold. I just believe that's who he is. Okay, because the whole Raheem situation, the guy held true to his word. Uh, Floyd and George Floyd, the whole situation. He really wanted to do it for the culture. Okay, but at the end of the day, these the people who are who who who, who claim to be his fans, you know, I, I wouldn't say were not really there for him but he really doing it for the culture was not strictly business it was different it's something different okay and doing it for the culture did not really get him money okay it really didn't do much because you could see that i would say in the states not a lot of people follow boxing okay not a lot of people follow boxing because if they did heavyweight as for Wilder, would somebody like Wilder in the states, much like Muhammad Ali and George George um, Foreman, he will he would be just as big, okay? But he's not. 
So I think that held him back in making as much money as he can. And eventually, you know, he, 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 it was starting to come to him like, man, I'm with PBC. I'm, I, I'm in the States, the, the States where I'm supposed to be making money. Okay. And Al Heyman, is it, is, who's, is it Al Heyman that owner of PBC? I can't, I, I, I think I'm mixing these guys up. Yeah. Al Heyman. Yeah. Al Heyman. Yeah. The guy who's supposed to be really um, 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 being the, the 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 forerunner of boxing, well, we really didn't see him in 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 the limelight. He's not really doing it because he's not really helping Wilder making making these fights. He should be the forerunner in there, helping Wilder out. But apparently, you know, people people did mention, you know, in 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 in, in, in the. Uh, in, in like the, the the interviews that Al Heyman is really not a promoter. The guy has been bankrupt multiple times, okay? And that he has literally, he's just an advisor. He's not a boxing promoter. He's nothing because he's not good at it, okay? Eventually, we all saw the downfall of PBC. And while they're like, yeah, I think I should have been, I should have signed with somebody who really knew how to promote. I think I, I think then I would have made money, okay. I, I feel bad because Wilder should have made enough money. He should have been. He he is a marketable guy, but he was just with the wrong market, okay. And I do believe when that happened, that whole situation with Anthony Joshua, and I believe he was being advised wrong, and all the situation, he wasn't marketed right, and eventually, um, uh. It, it, it didn't happen, okay? Bro, bro, I have a question. Yeah. So if Wilder wasn't... Because what it seems like you're saying is Wilder couldn't maximize his earnings because of the team that he was on. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree, bro. You have to... People might not agree, but you got to think about it, man. Wilder is marketable. That Yeah, okay. Listen, Wilder... If if Wilder would have been in the UK, okay, and under Frank Warren or Eddie Hearn, how, how would he have so? How would he have been under the UK of of, of, of Matchroom or these other guys or the Zone in general? How would the marketability being able to? How would they? How would they be able to market him properly? I believe they would be, they would be able to market him to where he would have made good enough money, but. Being in the States is an issue, okay? Wilder, he's the only heavyweight. Like, Deontay Wilder, the known, the known heavyweight puncher. He should have been able to, they should have been able to market him accordingly, okay? But it, it didn't happen. And if we look, bro. If we look back at, at, at AJ versus, AJ versus, uh, versus uh, uh, the Wilder fight that, that they were going to make, it seemed like when when Wilder requested information about AJ's AJ's uh, earnings, right? Why would he do that? It, it, it was I thought it was funny to me. Why would he ask about AJ's money when when uh, when they offered him a flat fee? It didn't make sense. That means somebody was telling him, "Oh, bro, you can make more money." Tell him, tell him, uh, why? How come AJ's making more money? You know, that's his AJ's marketability. That's just who Eddie uh, AJ built AJ and AJ and Eddie Hearn built themselves up to that point to be able to market market themselves wide. Okay. But eventually, this is eventually while they finally got some sense, like, yeah, I gotta leave PBC. You know, if if these guys aren't doing right, who's gonna do it for me? Shelly Finkel wasn't doing him any justice. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying like hey Eddie Hearn Eddie, him going with Eddie Hearn is the is 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 the right choice but Eddie Hearn is just the way Eddie Hearn has the proper pools the proper pools to it okay who's available for for uh for Wilder Eddie, who's who's a heavyweight that he can mark that Eddie Hearn can market right now hey let me go speak to let me go speak to uh, Shelly Finkel uh, Wilder can uh, Eddie Hearn is just not gonna pick Wilder. You know, because listen, it's a good fight for Wilder between Zhang Zalei and 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 Wilder. These some people might call this fight a 50 50 a 50 50 percent fight. I don't call that a 50 50 percent fight. I think it's it favors Wilder, and I believe Eddie Hearn sees that shit. Okay, 
I, 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 as much as, as much, as much as I'm not a big fan of Wilder, I gotta, uh, I, I gotta say this: Zangzile is there to be hit. If Joe Joyce can do that much, that little to Zangzile, how much, how much more punches can Wilder land before saying good night to Zangzile? Okay, I believe Zangzile is the, the guy that comes in at two something. Wilder two, two thirty. The guy's faster than Wilder. Wilder, Wilder has not fought somebody of. Parker size, as, as 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 long as I can remember. Parker is small in stature, a bit quicker who can move his feet. Zangzalei is not small in stature. Zangzalei cannot move his feet as much as Parker can. Okay, I do believe that was the that, that played a big role. As much as these big guys will always have issues fighting smaller guys. Tyson Fury had uh, had issues fighting a smaller guy. Uh, uh, AJ had issues fighting smaller guy. Okay, Park uh, not, now 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 Wilder fighting Parker. Parker is a, is definitely smaller than smaller than Wilder. Okay, of course the, the, of course he was gonna have issues fighting him. So let's just, let's just say that. And I do believe when 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 the fight does happen, Parker is gonna knock out Zangzalei, and I get and I put my money on it. At least put Zangzalei on his ass. This fight, Park, uh, uh, Wilder has all the makings to beat him, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But Eddie Hearn decides to go with the decides to go with Wilder because he saw the market. He saw like the potential of being able to market him. Okay, being able to market Wilder. Wilder has not has not lost it. It's just he can't market Wilder in the states. The state is not there. That's why these guys. That's why these guys of uh, uh, PBC, Showtime, does uh, uh, ESPN. I've all like decided to just like, hey, let's cut boxing. We can't really market it. We can't really do that much against it. So the sport of UFC, the sport of basketball, the sport, the sport of 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 of, of baseball, I've really kind of overshadowed, overshadowed boxing compared to to the UK and to the Middle East where they can actually market Wilder. It's true, man. If you look at it, it is really true. Damn, bro, you're really, really right in a way. Though. So guys, you heard it from our brothers, Adewale and Tajagwe. Adewale being the biggest water fan that I know. I mean, I said fan, not fanatic, huh? Fan. It's gonna be interesting, man. I look, we uh, we have to look close to this fight, man. I'm like really, really happy. Um, yeah, I wish water well. I think I want him to win this fight. Just want to see the re the rebirth of water I'll be amazed like if you guys like, subscribe and keep supporting the channel hopefully you know uh I do appreciate each and every one of you always showing up and uh supporting the channel God bless you how long are we going at this how long are we going